I mean, the, I mean the private chat. Do you, uh, do you guys see the private chat? Yes, yes, I do. Section. Okay. All right. I'm just saying. Do you see where Dacia uh, in, indicated what she or posted what she put in there? You got. You guys see that, I right? See you. Okay. Because I have it on comments. You know, people that are commenting. Okay. You can click back and forth, right? Yeah, I can. So we're live okay. now, too. All right, ladies. <laughs> All right. This is exciting. It is. It seemed like the day went really fast today. <laughs> yeah, it did. It really did. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So do we have the music? It's kind of quiet. I think it's going to be coming in soon. Okay, cool. So you ladies had a good day today? Yeah, man. It was oh, a good yeah. Day. You know, it's, it's funny. It's not is it is it gonna is it gonna show up? It's gonna show up on YouTube because I mean not I mean Facebook because I don't see it on Facebook yet. I see that it we're we're live on Facebook, but it hasn't popped up on our on our on our uh, Facebook page. Yes, it was. You might have to refresh. You could chat and ask. Um, our producer. All right, I don't see it either. <laughs> mm -mm. I refreshed it. Yeah. It's like it's like getting on a um, carnival ride. You're waiting for the, <laughs> the, the ride to start. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good description. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we are live, so we're just going to wait on our guests to come in. And um, this is exciting, ladies. Um, yeah. So as soon as we get some guests coming in. Right. We had these thoughts in the back of our mind, but um, you, it took you, Dawn, to um, push us forward and yeah. out of our comfort zone, maybe, to take time to make this happen. So I'm really, I'm truly grateful. We're just really grateful for this. Praise the Lord. Um, well, we are live, ladies, so we just have to wait till we get some guests to come in. I know they're coming. Yeah, they're coming. <laughs> Hey, Tom. Live on, uh, YouTube. Hello there, Tom. How are you doing today? Thank you for joining us. Yes. Hey, Tom. Thank you for joining us. And thank you for all of your support. You got us looking good here. Yeah. Can we? Oh, have yes. Great job for the graphics artists. Graphics <laughs> yes. in, the, in the room. <laughs> with our vibrant vibe on health colors and our logo and all that good stuff. That was really a yeah, oh, Those colors are beautiful, yes. Yes. All right. For some reason, it is not showing up on, have you, do, uh, do you see it yet on your side, Marguerite? I uh, know. I was just sitting there putting it in the um, private chat. Oh, check your, oh, well, we're 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 being seen on uh, YouTube. We're on YouTube. Hey, okay. Ann, how are you? Okay. Thanks for joining us. How is your day? How are things going? Hello there, Tom. How are you? Thanks for joining us. Fred Haley. Hey, Giovanni, okay, nice Brazil. Thanks for joining us. Yes. All right. Thank you. Thank you guys so much. We're happy. Yes, thank yeah. you for bye joining bye us. As well. I just saw. Yeah. Yes. We shelter in together. Yes. As <laughs> we shelter. As we shelter yes, around. Indeed. Yes. Yes. <laughs> hey, thank you, Anne. Thank you for sharing. We appreciate it. Oh, absolutely. Anything we, um, we can do to support each other during this time is appreciated. Yes. Thank you, Fred Haley. We're crystal clear. We owe <laughs> that to our producer, Dacia. Yes. 
We're crystal clear. Our, our producer, our producer. And, and and thank you, and we are we are so excited. Uh, thank you um, that um, we have come together and you know wanting to share some healthy alternatives so that um, you know with with the times that we're living in, we want to do whatever we can to give you some better suggestions. So thank you again. Hey, Kathy Raby, how are you? Thank you for coming in. Hey, Kathy. Hey, Kathy. <laughs> this is so cool. Isn't it cool? <laughs> <laughs> so excited. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. <laughs> Like she said, that roller coaster ride, you're just starting to move now. Huh? We're just starting to move. <laughs> All right. So thank you. Ah, hey, Francesca, thank you for coming back. Thank you so Hi. much. <laughs> <laughs> How's things going with everybody? You know, looking at this new normal that we have, what, you know, what, things what what are the things that you're you're having to adjust in this new normal that we're living in I know some of us are probably working out a little more which is a good thing that's true that's we in the house anyway huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy well, for all the online workout people I could find yeah. on YouTube. <laughs> welcome, welcome. I'm hearing information on both sides. Some people are saying, yeah, I'm working out more. I've lost weight. Other people are saying this. Hey, Kay, how are you? My, one of our biggest supporters. Hey, Kay. <laughs> hey, Kay Robinson. Yes. Thanks for joining. Yes, thanks for joining us. Let a few people come into the room before we get started officially. Yes, we'll, we'll, we'll get Francesca started in about said, what, three Dawn, minutes? Dawn Francesca answered your question. She said she's just wearing a mask and um, and work out using YouTube. All righty then. Really smart, that's good. Excellent. Hey, Carl. Carl McMillan. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. I know, I know Chanel is probably sitting right next to you. <laughs> he said, hey, ladies from Carl and Chanel. Hey. Thanks for joining us. We appreciate the support. You just don't know. This hey, Tom said how he's coping. He's, um, he's missing playing basketball. And that's his main. So my cousin pop yeah. in from the uh, Ohio area. Who is that? Yeah, well, hey, cuz. <laughs> Welcome. My cousin, <laughs> Shelly. Hey, Shelly. <laughs> hey, Shelly. Thanks for joining Where's us. Shelly from? Where is she from? We're both from Detroit originally. She now lives in uh, Ohio, which is not too far from Detroit, the area she's from. All right. All right. All right. So yeah. <laughs> yes, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna get started real soon. We just wanted to give some time for our guests to come in and we can greet you and thank you and uh being a part of our first show. Yay! This is this is great. This is great. It I, is. Um thanks everybody for following us. Oh yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And we're just trying to make sure we follow our instructions. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, we're going to be getting started in about two more minutes. And uh, um, again, thank you. Hey, Shelly. Hey, Lucinda. <laughs> That's my sister. Hey, Lucinda. Thanks hey, for joining Lucinda. us. Thanks, yes, and brother Steve, baby, baby, baby. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Steve. hey, Steve. Thank baby, you, baby. thank you for always supporting. Yes, absolutely. Hey, Glad you're Stevie. here with us in the room today. Thank you. I see Amaz right joined in. Hey, Amaz. <laughs> hey, hey Amaz. 
<laughs> hey, I love it. Lucinda said, baby, baby. <laughs> baby, 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 baby. <laughs> hey, Mary. From uh, Burrow and Mary. Hey, Burrow. You juice today. All right, Kay. <laughs> Thank you. What did you juice yeah. today? Kale, oh, you just said kale and pineapple. That should have been, that should have been green. great. That, yeah, yeah. Taste of I, I, I would actually do. I would ask you, Kay, did you get it out your garden? But I know it's too soon. <laughs> hey, Dorita. How are you? Thanks for joining us. Teresa, thank you for joining us. TT. And, 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 and while you're joining, tell us, how is your day going? How's, how's your day going? How, you know, under this new normal that, that you know, that have joined us, tell us how how things are going with you? What are what are you doing to uh, make any adjustments? Yeah. Hey, Stephanie, how you doing? Thanks for joining us. You feeling? Yes. You feeling better, Stephanie? We're waiting on you to tell us you're feeling good. <laughs> waiting on you to tell us feeling good. Well. We're going to go ahead and get started. We're excited. And so we're going to just just thank everyone. And, and we're going to continue to thank, thank those that are joining us now. And uh, we're going to get started with our, our vibe on health. And, and, and again, thank, thank everyone. I'm just so overwhelmed. So if I stumble <laughs> and all of that, it's just I'm so overwhelmed right now. But my name is Dawn Haley, for those of you that don't know me. And uh, my area that I'm going to be coming from is an area of food. And that's my um, that's really my area of expertise because of um, uh, several years ago, what I had to do in order to get myself healthy. And food was my primary goal of getting it, uh, getting so that I can get healthier. And next is I'm going to bring in uh, Sheila. Sure, sure. Tell sure. Us a bit about I'm you. So, I'm so happy to be here. I'm really, really excited. My name is Sheila Hobson. I'm a certified health coach. And I that's one of the hats that I one of the many hats that I wear. I have a um, a 30 year love and passion for natural health. I like to talk to individuals and families about vibrant health and inspire them and encourage them to know that they are enough, that we all should appreciate each other for for our gifts that we all have superpowers and so we can show up and be our own superheroes and she rose and we don't have to wait for anybody else because health is wealth so let's go ahead and vibe on health today and sister marguerite let's hear from you now hey yeah that's that's exactly what we're trying to do vibe on health and i'm also very excited to be here with my dear friends and sisters in health, we always love sharing health tips and chatting with each other. Um, a little bit about me, I go back about 20 years in studying herbs. I'm a certified herbalist and I'm a health consultant and I also have a um, popular health blog. And um, I work in my own little spot in Homewood as a massage therapist, which I really miss right now because due to the times we're dealing in to stay at home, I'm not able to see my clients, but if any of my clients join, I'd just like to say, hey, out there. I still have my um, online herb stores and online CBD products. So I am a certified CBD specialist also. And my handle is Mom's Herbs Online, if you look for me on Instagram or Twitter. All right, well, we just got some new folks that came in, so let's greet them. Hey, Gloria, thanks for stopping in. JL, thank you so much for supporting us as you always do. Yes, yes sister yes. Gloria Roberts. Yeah, thank you for yes. being here, sis. Mm -hmm. so, so who else do we have? JL. So anyway, uh, anyway I, I, I'm sorry. Uh, I, I, I asked, um, how is everyone dealing with their new normal right now? What are some of the things, because as we are, 
taking uh, this moment to share with you. We want you to share with us too. So, because we can always learn something from each other. Uh, and so just tell us, you know, briefly, so we can, we can understand where you are right now in this, in this new norm. I, I think, um, I think Tom told us he was, you know, he can't play basketball. And I, I get that because you are truly not going to be able to keep six feet away from your opponent or you'll lose the game. Um, <laughs> what about anyone else? How about every, everyone else? Um, Francesca mentioned that she's exercising with you two now. So that's good. Staying healthy. I'm hearing some people are gaining weight, some are losing, some are exercising, some aren't. It's just kind of depend and wearing a mask. Yeah, and 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 we're gonna we're gonna briefly talk about you know that's part of the new normal now is hey, wearing the hmm? wearing wearing that mask and wearing the gloves. But we want to just peel away uh, uh, a little bit as to giving you something you know that you can incorporate in your life to protect you not you know we we we're, we aren't going to say one that you know you we're going what we're saying today is going to prevent you from getting covid but certainly some of our suggestions uh will be able to uh give you a more stronger immune system so that you can uh, do your so so your body can do its best to uh, fight against not just COVID, but any type of uh, illness that we you know unfortunately we we find ourselves having to deal with as we're dealing with this toxic world that we're in. So we we you know we just we just again we we ask people how they're how they're doing. Hey Patricia McBroom, thanks for stopping in and visiting with us and sharing our our thanks first you. show. Yes, thanks for coming and, and supporting us. Go ahead. I'm sorry. You were saying. Uh, uh, your mic went mute. OK, no, I was just saying thanks and, and hi to Patricia. And hey, don't see ya. Hey, hey. Yeah. And you know what? It's funny. Um, I, I, I heard someone mention that you're putting on weight. Well, you know, when you're when you're having to, you know, what, what is that? Stay and shelter it gets real easy to kind of put some extra things in your, you know, in your mouth. And you, you know, we're dealing with a, you know, stress. Some, some, some of us are dealing with stress in terms of uh, maybe we're, you know, we're put, we, we, we've been put on a furlough with our job or some of us may have, um, you know, lost a job or, you know, you may have someone that is sick, you know, so all those things add stress. And oftentimes, what do we do when we, when we stress out, we just eat a little more because it's comforting to do so. And, you know, and, 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 and I understand cause I'm, I'm doing it myself. How about, how about you ladies? What, you know, what, what's, what's, what's been going on in your, you know, in your, Hey, Sade, thanks for joining us. Thanks for coming um, in, Sade. Yes. <laughs> Yes, thanks here. for joining us. Thank uh, you. So, what are so what are some of the struggles that you ladies are having to 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 deal with? I think my biggest thing is um, I'm sheltered in in at home, um, sheltered in place at home. But then I'm sheltered in within the sheltered in because I have to stay because my family's here. I'm used to working remotely from home, but because my family is alive and well and doing their thing throughout the day. I have to really like stay in one room all day. So I'm sheltered in within a shelter in kind of situation. It's interesting, but yeah. I'm, I'm doing pretty good uh, in terms of, you know, diet. I could do a lot better with exercise. I have to admit. I, and so I'm going I'm <laughs> to do better because you need a help. No, I'm, I'm laughing. Help. I'm laughing because uh, not, not, not that you sister, uh, she, I'm laughing at Patricia McBroom. She says, I've gotten a tad bit fluffy. <laughs> That's so cute. Right, right. Yeah. But go ahead, continue. I, I'm, I just, that was just so funny. That was it. Okay. My, trying to find a good balance. That's all. Yeah. And being happy agree. myself. I'm listening to more music. Yeah, definitely to kind of deal with it. Jay Nice on Instagram is getting me through. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Boredom. Yeah. When I have them, yeah, I, 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 um, I'm sorry. Yeah. I find I find myself dancing around the house a little more. <laughs> yeah, that's a good thing. Well, that's a good thing. Well, which I mean, but again, everyone, these are all good ways uh, to to uh, release that stress because we gotta, you know, with that mask, and that's one thing you know I will elaborate a little later on. But with that mask, 
when we're out and about with the mask and the gloves. You know, when I go out, and this is just I'm sharing my story. When I go out, I, I typically am wearing my glass and, and you know and, and my gloves. But what I try to do to give my my body a, the ability to breathe in and breathe out a little bit is I don't rush right into the next store. I sit in my car, roll down that window and breathe in, take deep breaths, mm -hmm. breathe, breathe in and breathe out because, you know, our bodies naturally need to breathe in and out. And, you know, the, the mask serves the purpose of protecting uh, us. I mean, others from if, if we're carrying it, hopefully we're not. But, you know, that 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 sort of gives us, you know, that sort of messes with our natural way of breathing. So I say when you're out and shopping, Take a moment to breathe in and breathe out and don't rush right into your next uh, next next store because I mean obviously we're all waiting in line when we do that. Yeah, yeah. But you know, so I so that's just a little tidbit as we're talking now. Margaret, hey, Donna, um I wanted to interject a couple people are saying that they're praying more. Um Gloria says she's prayed up first and foremost. Um and somebody said they're definitely reading and studying the word more studying in general more um others are saying that they're doing the same kind of thing <laughs> somebody said yes yes sheila music um yeah 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 what gloria say she's saying that's the best thing for me but open to get any information from you beauties oh to incorporate along with so sweet. thank you, thank you, well, well, Margaret. I, support, I, didn't, I, I didn't. Uh, I didn't want to miss you. What are yeah, you Margaret. doing? What are What are you doing? With um, you? I have to say, I have to be honest and say, my mood has gone up and down. With this. some days, I feel really good and really excited because it's given me the opportunity to focus on other projects. I'm also an artist, and so I've dug deep from my inner little girl and went back to doing my art and. That's relaxing. It helps my mood. But then, of course, sometimes I get down. You know, like I say, my spa is closed right now. I'm unable to see my clients. And that's kind of rough on me. So i just been trying to refocus. And I was trying to take the healthy attitude. It's funny this all blended right in because I've been trying to exercise every day. I do have a Facebook group, so I try to post there every day. It's called the 90-Day Challenge, Define Fit and Fierce. So I'm trying to get the ladies there motivated, post little videos, workout videos and stuff like that. I'm, I'm OK, thank you. <laughs> well, you know, and, and again, these are these are suggestions. And, and hopefully is any does, does anybody have to add anything that they're doing, you know, in terms of um, of uh, trying to release some stress and. Uh, walking more, getting more sun, sun, sun. I mean, what are some of the things some of our audience is doing in terms of uh, releasing some of that stress and trying to keep our our, our attitude, you know, um, uh, healthy in spite of, you know, the things that are going on around us? Because we really, truly have to not let the, the media and all of the things that we're constantly being bombarded with control the fact that you know or control our mind and our emotions yes it's there but you know as uh sheila says these are things things that we can control let's control the things we can and things we can't you know we just we can't we don't we shouldn't let it uh take us down and bring us into an area that um you know it's hard to sometimes get out of so uh -oh. i think that's great yes mark i saw a couple of comments um to your to your point, Marguerite, one of your clients says that your clients miss you too on the massage therapy side. So uh, just know that you're missed as well. And then somebody said- mm -hmm. um, Gardening, gardening. She can't wrap her mind around uh, wearing a dango mask. Yeah. <laughs> In my words, not her words. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, her words yeah. were a little bit stronger than mine, but uh, she can't get, that's what Tay Robinson says. She can't get used to wearing a mask. So it is a weird yeah. feeling. And then I, I think like um, it's taking my breath when I wear it. You know? Yeah. Well, see, that's why I said you you have to you have to you have to do breaks. You can't you know you can't constantly have that mask on you at all times. You've got to take breaks, but you just have to take those breaks where it's safe to do the breaks. But we had one comment: gardening. Yes. 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 Yeah. 
that hey, is Karen. a great stress reliever when you're out there one you're getting sun and you're 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 bending and you're stretching you know you're doing a lot of things that you don't normally do when you're in the house when you're gardening so yes gardening Thanks for uh, telling us about that, Dor 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 Dorita. Thank you. That's a great. And I want to shout out Karen Walls. Hey, Karen. Um, we go back to college, University of Wisconsin. So she's from Chicago. But thanks for being in here, Karen. Good to see you. And Karen is saying, be sure, like you said, Don, be sure to take your mask off when you're in the car and driving by yourself, so you can breathe. Darian Lee says, I'm walking more, going to different parks around town. I right. walk four miles now. Go ahead, then. Go ahead, Darian. Oh, All right. Yeah. Oh, okay. that's a, and you know what? And, and oftentimes, we, uh, I was going to say, we think we have, you know, we have to jog, you know, to get a good workout. But running, I mean, I'm sorry, excuse me, walking is a good form of exercise it really is and i think you know a lot of people think you gotta you know you gotta uh you gotta no walking is excellent so thank you thank you for sharing that we appreciate that anybody else doing Char more walking Char hey, Char Char yeah thanks for joining us thanks Char for joining us she, says she walks every day yeah walking every day is that see ya. yeah mm -hmm. childhood games such as jacks and <laughs> all right all right. Yeah, music music seems to be a a, a, a a common common denominator. So yes, music and dancing, all of that is good. But uh, but but we're you know we're gonna we're gonna I know I know some of you. Hey Leah, she just joined us. Hey. Hey Leah. <laughs> I put a couple of drops of tree. What is that? Tea tree oil. Okay, that's got it. That's your that's your daughter, Marguerite. Oil. Marguerite, Marguerite's gonna talk about essential oils a little bit. Yeah, really. she, yeah, she is. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And, and that's, and that's, you know, and and you know, we 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 love your feedback and thank you so much. And you know, we're we're just gonna now we're gonna take a moment, you know, because we, you know, we're we're having so much fun. We don't want to lose, you know, sharing some of the little tidbits that we can share with you that doesn't really cost much, if anything, that you can start doing to incorporate in your lifestyle now some of you are probably doing it already and that is great um and you know keep up the good work and some of you are like i just need something that i can sort of kick start myself you know knowing you know the environment that we're you know we're living in right now uh we need to really try and think of alternative ways to get stay healthy and um and so that's why we're we're you know we we got together as um, you know uh, individuals, friends, sisters who are just trying to share what we can. And in each in each show, we want to bring something live, something different. Uh, we definitely want you to give us your feedback. So I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start with uh, some of the things that uh, I want to give you, or some some takeaways that I'd like to share with you. Um, you know, briefly, as I mentioned earlier, um, I used food to get me healthier and I had to really make a big adjustment, you know, based on what I was eating before, because I really didn't have a whole lot of respect for healthier foods before I was slapped in the face with a uh, medical um, um, issue. And so I made made up my mind six years ago that I was going to learn. And that's something that you know, you should want to, if you, you want to really get healthier, you really need to understand why you're getting healthier. I mean, and so, you know, I, and, and that's one of the things that Sheila, when I uh, had my little um, medical emergency, she gave me a lot of information for me to learn about getting healthy. So I'm just going to tell you a few things that I, I know that you need to start doing. Uh, food, for me, as it, again, was was my was my mm -hmm. anchor, and so I started um, so giving you some ideas that you need to really start eating more fresh fruits and vegetables. Mm -hmm. Let me say that again: you need to start eating more fresh fruits and vegetables. And I'm not saying to be a vegetarian or a vegan. You just need to start amplifying more fresh fruits and vegetables. And some of the things that I eat on a regular are oranges, 
uh, uh, grapefruit because wait, I'm taking notes. Hmm? I say, wait, I'm taking notes. Okay, because orange and vitamins, they, they're high in vitamin C. Uh, and I eat a lot of nuts because, you know, I, I, I do eat meat, but I only eat meat once a week, sometimes twice, depending on what my son cooks because he's a cooker. So, uh, but I, oh. I usually eat a lot of nuts. And the nuts I, I eat a lot of, I'm, I'm going to take them slow so you can, so for some of us that are writing it down, I eat um, sunflower seeds. I eat uh, pumpkin seeds, and I just read as I was doing my research about Brazil nuts. Those carry um, a lot of uh, nutrient value, especially on a cellular level, because you know, if, you know. And I try to make sure I'm staying on a point about the facts, and the facts about COVID is once it enters into your system it attacks you on a cellular level. And so if, you're, if, if your immune system is uh, deficient, mm -hmm. that means your cells are deficient. And so when that virus comes in, it, 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 it just takes uh, your other cells hostages, hostage, and then it's replicating itself. And depending on the level of your cells and your immune system determines how you're gonna come out of that. Some people are able, it only affects them like a cold, but others, it's a little more detrimental. So I would really, you know, if you know, you're going to pack, if, you, if you're going to eat, should you should be eating more nuts, add that into your diet, uh, cherries, and they're about to come out now because fruits come out seasonally. Cherries are about to hit the scene. So I know sometimes they can be a little bit on the expensive side but eat those cherries. They're very good for you. And we all kind of know about turmeric, uh, how it helps to promote uh, the infl inflammatory uh, properties. And, and sometimes people get a little confused about, or maybe not, you may not, uh, you may, uh, may understand that inflammation isn't a bad thing because it's, it's there to help us combat uh, when when, we're, when we have a virus or some sort of uh, foreign uh, par particle comes into us and the, and the inflammation helps to fight it. But when inflammation becomes a problem is when we start feeding it. And then now it's, 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 uh, it's creating a problem with our health. So with turmeric, turmeric is very good in helping to manage uh, acute inflammation. So you want to include that in your diet. And garlic has its own reputation. <laughs> garlic pretty much has its own reputation. Um, a lot of us eat it when we get colds. So you want to continue, if you are eating it, continue eating it. If you're not, you want to include that into your diet. And my last uh, uh, vegetable that I'm going to talk about is leafy greens. You got to eat a lot of your leafy greens. I mean, I would recommend building up to about a nice large bowl, but if you can't do that starting out because leafy greens can bulk you up, but that's a good thing. Uh, but if you can't do that, try eating at least, uh, getting up to eating a couple of salads a day. And during the fall, pomegranates, 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 they are so good. And I have two more things, two more suggestions, and then I'm gonna give it over to my other, my other uh, guests. Well, not guests, they're not guests, my other panelists. Um, I want you to start leaving your window open because we do, we, we breathe in a lot of stale air because we're always closed in. We're closed in at our jobs. We're closed in at home. Uh, we're closed in our cars. We, we're, we're closed in quite a bit. So I want you to start, if you don't, I want you to start sleeping with your window open. And if you can, but when you wake up in the day, Open your window up. This, this is a perfect time. We, I mean, this is the best time the, the, uh, before summer really hits. Spring is the best time we can kind of air our house out. And finally, intermittent fasting. And I don't mean like you eat one day and then you don't eat the next day. Intermittent fasting means if you, you should stop eating, I would say, no later than 8 o'clock. And then the next time you eat again should be 8 o'clock the following morning. So you're giving your digestion 
uh, an, uh, some rest so that it can help you. Oh, there we go. I'm back. So you're giving your digestion some time to rest so it can be better prepared to assist you in getting and getting and getting being and getting healthy. So I think that, oh, let's see somebody. I want to see some comments. Somebody added some somebody comments. Somebody said, get that fresh air, um, mm -hmm. fresh oxygen. Gail James joined us. John Doe is in the house, in the room. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and the, salad, garlic. Uh, someone said, uh, Jediah said, salad, garlic, cherry lessons for me for the day. <laughs> Thanks again. Praise God. Yes. Uh, and let's see. Um, so, yeah, so I'm I, I pretty much have given you a a, a little short takeaway uh, as to what I uh, would like to share with you in terms of building that immune system. And so I'm going to give the floor over to da, 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 Marguerite. And while you're giving the floor over to Marguerite, I want to respond to Brother Darren Lee. He says, uh, can you get the same benefits? from eating frozen vegetables as fresh vegetables. Do you want to talk about that, Marguerite? Or? Well, oh, okay. You, you, oh, you, you don't want me to answer that? Or you want Marguerite to answer? Go ahead and answer. <laughs> well, you know, my saying is you want to try to eat out. You want, you know, you know it's that old saying, think outside of the box. You want to try to eat outside of the box. And so <laughs> when things are frozen, there are preservatives and additives in there so it can contain its freshness. So it's always good if you can pull it from the ground. And of course we have to, you know, it has to travel from whatever, but you know, you always want to try to eat food, food in its original state. I mean, I won't say don't eat. I, I'd rather you eat frozen vegetables than to eat vegetables that have been cooked that it has no nutritional value, but you you want to try to put fresh, you know, again, my 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 point is you want to try to include fresh vegetables. And later I'll I can show you how you can uh preserve your vegetables a little longer um so that you can so so they don't go bad because that's part of the problem. People just don't want to buy the fresh because two or three days later they're bad, you know, and it's they're mushy. So I would say yeah, eat, but if you can begin to, 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 to eat more fresh fresh vegetables, that's really the key. The Deanna um, Abernathy, I agree with you. Fresh is fresh food is always best. So there's a continuum. You have to eat something. And so fresh is best. Well, they say organic is best, but then fresh is best. Then if you right next to fresh is frozen, you know, it's a close right. second. If you have to look at it that way, it's much better than eating vegetables out of a can. Absolutely. From. But if you if you're in that groove right there and you have to eat out of the can and you're still eating canned food, um, you know, some people don't because they leak into, you know, the toxins from the can leak into the vegetables and all that kind of stuff. But some people still eat canned vegetables. And if you have more canned vegetables than you have uh, processed other processed foods or junk foods, I think you're still winning. So. It's just, right. uh, you know, but fresh is best. If you, you know, you, we try to, we stay where we, we, we start where we are and then we move baby steps. Right. Better and better. And that's how we do it. Yep. There you go. <laughs> All right. All right, Marguerite, we're ready for you, young lady. Thank you. Share Sarah. some health with us. <laughs> All right. And um, thank you, Don. Those are some very great tips. I'm like taking a mental note as you were talking. <laughs> Trying to think about how to adjust my eating habits and get more cherries and stuff like that. <laughs> and, oh, you know what, I did want to mention too. Um, we, we're all health enthusiasts, or what you want to call, it, but our quick disclaimer is we're not here to diagnose or prescribe anything. We are just giving our, you know, for educational purposes only. So we just wanted to put it out there. That's our disclaimer because we do plan on doing this regularly, like at least once a month, come on and share our little tips. But for me, when, with um, my massage background, and yeah, I see some of my clients popping in. Some were prenatal, so they still come back after having the baby. <laughs> <laughs> One reminder I want to say as a massage therapist, and you haven't been able to get your massage, you can still get on the floor and stretch, do that yoga, stretch out those muscles, stretch out the back muscles, 
so you don't get too stoved up. Because even for myself, I had to start. That's one reason I do like to exercise because it kind of loosens you up and you don't feel it stoved up. But on, on the same note with massage, I like to touch the base tonight on aromatherapy. And that's using pure essential oils. And um, I wanted to talk about pure essential oils because they are natural. And they actually have a natural fighting uh, to help boost our immune system because they're antibacterial, antifungal, and antiviral. So it's a great um, alternative for the um, hand sanitizers and all the um, alcohol that's in that. You can kind of get a base um, lotion or oil like coconut oil or olive oil or some type of oil and drop a few drops of your essential oils on there. And then when you rub that on your hands, it's killing germs too. When I do massage, I'm normally spraying my hands with essential oils because I just prefer the natural. But there's pros and cons when you really do the research on hand sanitizing. <laughs> so mm -hmm. I have three things I wanted to mention tonight. Number one would be frankincense. I know probably everybody have heard of it. It's, a, um, it's actually what they call a resin from the Boswala tree, it smells wonderful. And they say it's very spiritual because of course, if you look back into it, it goes back to biblical time. They gave Jesus this as a gift. So it's very a very, very special oil with so many benefits and um, it helps like with the mood, you know, that's what I like about aromatherapy. It uplifts your mood. And like we were talking earlier, our mood, our mental health can affect your physical health. So whatever we can do to boost our mood is very awesome. You know, I took a class actually on dealing with emotional health with aromatherapy. And it was amazing because, you know, people go through shock, grief, depression, and so forth. And most times we think of medical ways to deal with that. But you can actually manage your emotional health with these oils. And some of the things they say about frankincense is that it's centering, it's comforting, and mood elevating. So that's frankincense. And another way you can use these oils, I put them in diffusers, which um, you drop a few drops in the water, like maybe eight or nine drops in your um, diffuser, depending on the size of the diffuser, and let it go out into the air. And it even clears and clears up the air, the bacteria and stuff in the air. And it's another nice mood effect to just come in and smell that beautiful aroma. So frankincense. And the next biblical oil I wanted to mention is myrrh. Myrrh is um, also mentioned. Uh, Queen Esther used myrrh as a cleansing oil. You might read other spots in the Bible talking about myrrh. So I love myrrh. And actually, I even have a treatment at my spa called the Queen Esther treatment where I use myrrh. It's kind of sticky, both of them, um, myrrh and frankincense. But if you put a few drops in your oil, whatever type of massage oil that you love, you can massage it onto yourself. You can put a few drops in your bath water or make your own type of lotions and creams with these oils. And I can make it into a spray and spray it in the air. And so the myrrh, it's also considered good for a balance and well-being. And this also comes from a resin. And the last I wanted to mention is actually a blend. And I'm with a company, it's called Wakana. And they just released this new blend of oils and they call it Essential Defense. You can find it on my website. Actually, I put in a little plug. <laughs> Mom'sEarth.Wakana.com. <laughs> That's where you can find this oil. And in it is cinnamon oil, lemon oil, clove oil, rosemary, and eucalyptus. And you know, these are all very potent oils and it helps, you know, breathe it in, burn it in your diffuser. It opens up your um, breathing, helps, you know, clear passages. Um, like I say, it's antibacterial, antifungal, antiviral. And you can just drop a few drops in your hand and take inhale it and it's amazing how it can go through the blood brain barrier and get through the whole body and really take effect on your emotional health and get your immune system kicking yes um you can rub it into the bottom of your feet too is another effective way to get these oils into your system 
So later on, I want you guys to come back next week because I do want to still talk about CBD oil too. But those are my tips for tonight. Awesome, awesome. And somebody, uh, Gloria said she didn't know that essential oils help to kill germs. Yes. Antibacterial and antifungal, yeah. And um, I, that was one of the ways that I kind of got into health was from reading the Bible and seeing that mm -hmm. I was, you know, just curious and exploring. And I wondered why did they, why did the wise men bring frankincense and myrrh to to Jesus, you know? And then when I so I researched those, and then I was like, wow, these are powerful antibiotics, you know, antiviral um, and cleansing herbs. And so it makes sense that if somebody's having a baby that you want to keep it sanitary and keep, you know, keep bacteria away because they weren't like in hospitals with doctors and right. with all right. of the medicines and stuff. And so um, those are very, very powerful um, oils. I'm glad that you talked about that tonight, Marguerite. And then Absolutely. I'll go and um, say, you know, around, you know, the whole issue, that we, all these issues that we're having with people getting sick and some people are losing loved ones and the, you know, the virus is spreading and kind of freaking everybody out. You don't know what to do. Um, I like to say, you know, keep it simple. Control what you can control because there's so much out there that we have no control over whatsoever. Um, we don't even know if we're getting all of the right information, although we're listening to the experts, right? And we're doing our best. So just keep it simple. Um, we want to be healthy, but you have to start where you are and accept that, again, that you can make changes and you can change for yourself and for your family. Um, and those things will, will um, cycle cycle on, you know, we'll keep rolling forward when you adapt to good lifestyle changes. Um, so I am a big proponent of uh, supplementation and um, there's like, you know, people, some people that I know had had COVID and were asking me what should they take or what should they do or, you know, third parties were asking like somebody, so-and-so has COVID or have might think that they may have the virus, what do you, you know, what would you recommend? And I was like, by all means, boost your immune system. Because with a healthy immune system, you fight off, even if you catch the disease, like Dawn said earlier, you're able to fight it off quicker. We all, you know, get catch things from time to time, seasonal flus or whatever, summer cold. Um, but if you work on boosting your immune system, you're going to either, it's going to bypass you or if it's really strong, you're going to fight it off faster. So um, in terms of supplements, I, I had like a long list and I won't go into how they all work and the mechanics behind them today, but I'll just, you know, rattle off a few things. Um, I know some of you are already using these things, um, but there's, you know, vitamin C is at the top of the list and your B vitamins, your vitamins and minerals. Um, elderberry is great. Um, echinacea, oregano oil is almost as powerful as, you know, some uh, antibiotics and can knock out flus and colds. Uh, turmeric, of course, the popular turmeric, everybody knows about that one. Uh, apple cider vinegar is great. Um, black seed oil, um, um, which uh, Stevie Robinson introduced me to black seed oil. And I said, you know what, Steve, I just found out about black seed oil. Um, like a couple of years ago, I was having this conversation with him and he was like, you just finding out about it. He's like, I take black seed oil every day. I've been taking black seed oil. I'm like, well, why didn't you tell me about it? You know, cause there's so many things out there that you don't always know what to take, um, and what's going to work good for you. Um, but raw probiotics is really good. If you don't get the fermented vegetables, like, uh, Dawn makes collodion silver is good. Sea moss is a very popular one with the 92 different minerals that it has of the hundred and so plus minerals that are available. Um, and so also another, because uh, the current virus that's spiraling, you know, that has everybody concerned, attacks your respiratory health. Mullen leaf extract is so phenomenal. Um, I gave that to this was another early anecdotal like experiment. Um, back in the day, my youngest son uh, kept, you know, having respiratory problems, took him to the doctor. 
And every time he got a cold, he was just like, you know, really, really sick, extremely sick. And they said, oh, he has asthma. So I started giving him mullen and and he never had to take an abuterol pump. Not that I'm saying don't take it if you have it, but I'm just saying we took a natural route. And um, so mullen leaf is like a miracle um, um, herb for clearing up your lungs. And so anytime you're in flu season, you could take that for a couple of weeks, even before you get sick as a preventative is great. Black garlic is good. And, you know, some of the simple things like honey and lemon, um, honey is antibacterial and it combined with lemon is really good for supporting your immune system. So you could start, you know, doing research back in the day when I was learning this stuff, you had to go to libraries, you had to go to conferences and seminars and go in the back kitchens of, uh, the back rooms of health food stores to learn this stuff but now this stuff is uh this information is readily available and so we all have bio individuality which means what works for you might not work for me and a good example of that of that is milk like some people are lactose intolerant while others can drink milk and so you have to find what works for you and um sister uh Shade mentioned earlier that she's been journaling more and journaling is a really good Thing to do it releases stress you know um, you can if you're feeling overwhelmed sometimes just writing down everything that's bothering you um, to get it out of your system and let it out like let it flow it's like getting fresh air because you're releasing and then um, you can I always counter it by writing down the good things that are happening because we have to remember to count our blessings right and so um, journaling is helpful after you eat to, you can write down this is something that I tell my and when I'm health coaching to clients, I tell them, you know, journal how food makes you feel. So if you feel bloated and gassy after you have a meal, write down what you ate. And if you continue to do that, you might have a note, um, come up with, um, be able to define what might be causing it. It could be a combination of food or a particular food. And I'll share really quickly that I was uh, having migraine headaches. And out of nowhere for like two or three years, they would just randomly pop up and then they became more regular. And from journaling, like after I got over the migraine, of course, because when you have them, you can't even see. But um, afterwards, I started writing down what I ate like the day before. And then I noticed the pattern and I was able to identify that every time I had a migraine headache, I was having popcorn. So I called popcorn a healthy snack for myself, you know, I was getting even organic popcorn. I was getting certain types of oils, the better oils with popcorn, but it was giving me uh, migraine headaches. So whatever the combination between the corn and the oil didn't work for me anymore. Um, and so I eliminated that from my diet and sure enough, my migraine headaches were, went away. So journaling is really free. All you need is a pen and some paper and you can journal, kind of get rid of stress, figure out what's going on with you, kind of you know, work on your self-help, um, work work on your self-care. And then um, um, I wanted to mention that um, some stress reducers that are free of charge, they won't even affect your budget. And we don't realize how important it is to go to sleep at night, right? Just get some rest. Like try to get eight or nine hours of good sleep. Turn the lights off. Turn, put your phone away on the dresser on your desk, put it away, um, you know, relax and go to sleep. Don't look at TV. Don't have the TV on and having blue light come in because that signals to your brain that it's still day, that there's still light and your body is still trying to fight to stay up for some reason because we're made so that we're triggered by light um, to wake up. Um, but there's amazing things that go on while you're asleep. You know, and we'll get into that sometimes, but you're you're tearing down and breaking down um, toxins. You're ridding your body of stuff that you don't need. Your body is really going to work while you sleep. So you should go to sleep because it can restore. That's why you wake up. If you have a good night's sleep, you wake up and you feel so refreshed and your attitude is better. Your energy is high. And you're wondering what happened. Well, well, you know what? As you can see, our audience, we got so much that we can really we can share with you. I mean, yes. I mean, this is that was good. That was good, Sheila. Yeah. I, I mean, I know we're, yes. We're I mean, out of time, so I yeah. Just... And then you know, and then we had we 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 had a few questions, and we wanted we want to okay, get around do. to ask let's answering those questions. Uh, Dacia Dixon asked us, "Where is the 
place you can get, what is that, where you can get reasonably priced vegetables. My answer to that is hopefully they open up the uh, farmer's market because every uh, everything else, because of the, the um, you know, with the COVID, everything is kind of increasing in price. So hopefully, hopefully they bring back the farmer's market. So, um, you know, that, 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 that is an option, but other than that, I think, you know, I, I, I know I shop at Whole Foods, but somebody might say Whole Foods is not, uh, Whole Foods is not a, a, a cheap place. So, uh, yeah. do you have any, yeah. Have, um, organic foods now and they're affordable. Who? Aldi. Aldi, yes. Oh, Aldi, yes, yes. My my daughter will uh, stand in front of Aldi's and say, "Go to shop, Aldi's." Yeah. And then uh, I think we had another questions. Trader uh, Joe's. Tra yeah, Trader Joe's. Yeah. And then you know you, you know you just have to. I mean, you you just have to go to your local market, and you know you got to look at the color. The, the you know how crisp they are you don't want to make sure they've been sitting there for a long time you know you want to you know you really want to I, I guess I want to say you want to fall in love in the produce department the same <laughs> way you was falling in love with the foods in the in the you know in the <laughs> islands fall in love with the produce department spend time getting to 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 to, to know the different fruits and colors and things right. that you you know All that you can get healthy with yeah Where yeah let's see She's finding all these, yeah. There, all these, yeah. Tom said uh, he's gonna try sea gel, sea moss gel. Somebody said microwave popcorn makes them dizzy. Yeah, I don't know. Leave the microwave popcorn alone, please. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> don't yeah. microwave. That's no, good. that's, a, microwave that's, a, that's a, what is it? That's another uh, topic for another yeah, day. Microwave, topic. and we're gonna talk about it. I guarantee you. So, and, uh, uh, do you have a special way you use I wanted to say one thing. Um, a really cheap or really affordable way to de-stress is to laugh, listen to music, find your passion, dance, those things. Mm -hmm. Like to this time and. And tune into what kind of hobbies you like that uh, you can do at home that release stress and reduce stress. That's Absolutely. True. Absolutely. I totally agree. Well, guess what? We're coming close to. <laughs> oh, we had so much fun. And I just want to thank everyone, you know, because, you know, we know you could be you could be doing something else, especially, you know, it's always something to do. So I just want to thank you. And I know that our, uh, Sheila and Marguerite will do the same yeah. to say thank you for taking time. And uh, please, if, if there wasn't a question we did not answer, we're, we are we apologize and uh, just leave, just leave it, you know, leave it and we will get back with you and answer your question. But uh, we thank everybody. And um, would you like would you guys like to end with some things, some thoughts? I would like to say, with everybody, please follow us on Vibe mm -hmm. on Health because we're actually on Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, help. and Facebook. So we, when we came up with this idea to have this little health chat, we went hard and we put it up, and we got our professional graphic designer, and so we're really excited. Thank you. We hope that you guys come check us out again. Shout out really. to um, our graphic designer, Tom. Yes on getting our logo out and our production uh, manager. Um, What's his website? I don't know his website. <laughs> Post the website? website in the chat. <laughs> oh, for the graphic designer? Oh, we can get that yeah. to him. Yeah, but, we can get that yeah, to him. Of course, guys, follow us on Vibe on Health and tune in again where we'll have lots of uh, healthy tips and we love hearing from you. We love vibing with you about health and um, remember that uh, Good health is great wealth. And so we just right. you know, start where you are and keep working. And we thank you for being here. And we look forward to seeing you again. Right. And and I just end, you know, health, better, better health is a journey. Yeah. 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 Even yeah. if you fall off the wagon, Continue. as long <laughs> as you got the breath of life, get back up and put the one foot in front of the other and just keep trying and believe you me once you start making a change in your, your you know to better health your body gonna tell you what do you want me to do with it okay i'll make you sick <laughs> keep giving it to me again i'll make you sick again 
So, you know, but all seriousness aside, though, um, you know, it, it is a journey and it's a journey that it is definitely worth traveling. So thank you again. Be safe. And uh, until we connect again, we, our next our next show will be in 30 days. But you never know. We'll see. <laughs> Thank okay. you Karen, for taking some of your shelter in time and, and sheltering together with us. We appreciate you. We love you. Yes. Take care. Yes. Take you. care. <laughs> See ya. Bye bye. I, let's see. Thank you, Sade. Thank you, Bianca. Ortiz. Yes. Blanca Ortiz. Yes. Ortiz. I can read Blanca Ortiz. <laughs> Please post info on your page. Oh, absolutely. Yes, Derica. We will post on our page. Yes. Excellent job, ladies. You all look beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. This was Thank awesome. you, Kanisha. This was awesome. Thank you. Yeah. Yes. Thank Love. you. All right. All right. We still live, or I guess. Are we are we 